So you have 12 principles in yes, the book, and yes. it's divided into four parts. Yes. The hero's journey, yes. identifying the blocks, clearing the path, and staying the course. Yes. Okay, so the hero's journey, let's just go through this. The first one is the greatest power is to be willing. <laughs> yes. And that's number one. Uh, what you do know, you mean? Not willingness. You're no, not saying willingness. No, 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 no. Because uh, I have people look, take a look at their language. Willingness is a noun. And a noun is something that occurs outside of me. Mm -hmm. But I am saying that the greatest power is to be willing when you say, I am willing. It's the greatest affirmation. I am, very powerful. Yes, very. and I am is powerful, and then I am willing links it to physical reality, you see. I am just lives in metaphysical reality. I am willing means I am willing, obviously, to do something, to I go see. there. Right. Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane the night before he dies. I mean, here's someone who at the beginning didn't want to go to his death, obviously, mm -hmm. was, was, was uh, sad, exhausted. But at the end, the most beautiful part is when he turns and says, nevertheless, thy will be done, meaning I am willing. Now people say, How does that have, what does that have to do with money? Well, people who are successful, are willing to do what they don't want to do when it comes to money. Give you an example. I say to people, mm -hmm. track every penny you spend for 30 days. Oh, they hate that. Oh, I'm sure God, they hate, they hate it. <laughs> they hate it. You know, anything. However, <laughs> if you are willing, like one wo woman was, and I'll tell you her story, she tracked every penny she spent. She said, I want to wake up when it comes to money because I'm not getting what I want in life. Yes. She says, as an example, I've wanted to go on a vacation for five years and I haven't done it. Well, she tracked every penny for 30 days, found that she was spending $7 a day on cappuccino and croissants and assorted snacks. Right. $7 a day at work times 220 working days a year is over $1,400 a year mm -hmm. after tax income. $1,400. She said, I'm eating and drinking away my vacation at $7 a pop. Now, what she ended up doing was, buying cappuccino and croissants so she could savor it on Mondays and Thursdays. I see. And then the other three days, she took that $7, put it in a vacation savings account. At the end of a year, I get a postcard from her from Club Med. <laughs> her <laughs> first fully paid for vacation with ease. Wow. And that's what it's about. How to make conscious choices about how you want to use money. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So you also talk about the blueprints of power, yes. which I know has saved me many times in my work. The life intention. Yes. The living spirit behind yes. the dreams, yes. which will carry you when, when the obstacles come. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that I've found in working with people now is that everyone has about 10 or 20 life's intentions locked inside of their hearts. And I'll give you examples. Uh, to be financially successful to be physically fit and healthy, to be a loving mate, to be a, a contributor to my uh, society, to be a successful artist, uh, to be an adventurer. You see, they, they are uh, intentions that warm our heart and they kind of nurture our spirit. And um, in my book, I help people get a hold of some of your intentions because these intentions, when you see what they are, mm -hmm. do you want to be a great healer? Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be an adventurer? It helps craft mm -hmm. how you're going to use your energy yes. so that you don't end up leaking money. You don't end up leaking your energy. You're channeling it towards what you really want in life. Yes. And your standards of integrity. Yes. You talk about that as being standards that you want to live by. Well, it's not only that you want to live by. You have standards of integrity that are wonderful. They're shining. Mm -hmm. They're brilliant and they speak about who you really are in your heart. And the good and the bad thing about your standards of integrity is that they're wonderful. For instance, some people have a standard to be compassionate, to be um, generous, to be loving, to be gentle. All these are standards to be truthful. But the bad news is that every time you and I act outside of our standards, we make ourselves miserable. Mm -hmm. And we can do that a lot when it comes to money. The business deals that we know weren't honest or truthful mm -hmm. or compassionate or loving. 
uh, the business dealings with our former spouse. I mean, one of the things that I teach people to do is see what their standards are and use them as a, as a trim tab to guide them in making conscious money choices mm -hmm. that lead to a sense of peace and clarity right. rather than the sense of being driven and lost and frustrated. Right. And you talk about healing the circle, closing yes. the circle. Because yes. it's true, we always seem to go where there's a, an opening, a gap. We where do. there's a little, you know. So you talk about um, um, siphoning the energy, the yes. leaks. Yes. And you do this by virtue, by, you're not talking about ethics, like you say, you're not the ethics no, police. No, I'm not, not the not ethics at police. All. I'm talking, talking you say, I love when you say sleeping the sleep of the just. Yes, exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a cure for insomnia. It is a cure for inso insomnia. <laughs> I, I suggest that people, whether they buy my book or not, that they s take a look at what what values they mm -hmm. stand for and one of the ways you can do it and I have this exercise in the book it's more detailed than this but basically you begin to look at people who have qualities that you admire mm -hmm. because if you admire something yes. in someone else that means you have it inside oh. of you or Very else you true. couldn't recognize Very it true. Maria how, how did you start all this oh. I mean your, your, your personal story is oh, it's so embarrassing. fascinating it's embarrassing did you know, say, <laughs> okay. Please. okay okay uh, 18 years ago I loaned someone $35,000 on an unsecured promissory note, which, as you know, is nothing. And not only that, it was someone I had only known for three months. <laughs> I don't do this anymore, <laughs> incidentally. And uh, it was money that I borrowed from a relative at 10.5% interest because the man to whom I gave this money uh, said that I would earn 32% on my investment, and it was an investment <laughs> fraud. It was a pyramid mm -hmm. scheme. Mm -hmm. I lost all the money. Mm -hmm. And what was terrible was, mm -hmm. two weeks before, I talked to uh, all my aunts and uncles and my friends and mm -hmm. colleagues about this. What do you think they told me? Don't do Don't it. Do You're it. crazy. Didn't listen. <laughs> you didn't listen Even to your inner voice. Even at the last, voice. here I'm yes. in Sacramento writing the check. Yes. 35000 yes. This inner voice of wisdom. Yes. What do you think it was screaming? You're Don't do it. Don't do it. I didn't listen. Why, didn't you, listen? Money. Why didn't you listen? Greed greed, being driven, listening to monkey mind, right. rather than listening to my hero's heart. Okay. Lose the money. I lost it. I decided to go into my office. I was going to hide. I was going <laughs> to earn the money back. I didn't answer my phones for three months. <laughs> Not see your relatives. I didn't see my relatives. <laughs> nothing. No, nope. maybe they won't call me. But you know how it is when you run from your lessons, they follow you. Oh, boy. So, Isn't that true? Oh, so three months later, I'm minding my own business there in Sacramento. I get a call. <laughs> Dr. Nemeth, uh, I'm a reporter from the Sacramento Bee. I, I need some advice from you. And of course, I was just so, you know, yes, I'd be happy to speak to my public. And, uh, and she said, listen, I don't know if you know this, but uh, there have been a lot of investment frauds in Sacramento. And we know you're a psychologist and that you see a lot of patients. And we need to know, what kind of person gets taken by money deals like this? And of course, he was talking about me. And the worst was yet to come because I started talking because I'm an extrovert. And uh, I, I tell a joke, I, I say to my friends, I used to be worse. But one day I, I joined a 12-step program for extroverts called On and On and On. <laughs> 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 but at that time, I wasn't in recovery <laughs> yet. <laughs> so I blathered on and on and on and on and told her my story. And to her uh, credit, at one point she said, "Do you want? You sure you want to tell me this? You know, I'm putting it in the paper." <laughs> but I thought, you know, she may as well know because uh, if one person can be saved from my fate, here after hearing my story, it'll take the sting out of it. Bottom line, printed it in the paper. People started talking to me about their relationship with money. I decided to develop a course. Because, of course, if you don't know it, teach it, you know, and then you'll learn it. <laughs> you and money. I've been doing it for 17 years. And uh, Valentine snapped me up a couple years ago. We did the Energy of Money book, and uh, it's been great. It's amazing how it's yes. become the, the riches in your life. Well, thank God. <laughs> uh, can you give us some hardcore, basic, down-to-earth practical advice about money. Yes, I can, but it will require that your viewers take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we have about five minutes Good. left. And I Bottom line, okay, mm -hmm. balance your checkbook to the penny, mm -hmm. all right? People hate to do it, but I tell you, it's a spiritual as well as physical 
exercise because when you balance your checkbook it's affecting your whole life it's saying that there's nothing in my life that I'm unwilling to be conscious about <clears throat> one woman who balanced her checkbook to the, her, uh, the penny found she had seven hundred and ninety five dollars more than she had mm -hmm. which really got angry because three months previous a couple girlfriends said would you like to take a trip to Ensenada with us on a cruise she said I don't have the money, money and she did now uh, balancing your checkbook to the penny means that what you say you have and what the bank says you have are the exact thing the, uh, the identical okay don't close your account and open up a new one <laughs> That's what we call doing a geographic. It's yes. not going to work mm -hmm. because you're going to bring your old consciousness in with your new consciousness. Mm -hmm. Balance your checkbook to the penny. Clear away any unfinished money business you have. And I have a list of them. And it's not to, to punish you or to have an odious task of any kind, mm -hmm. but merely to clear away all the garbage, or as I call it, schmutz from your hero's journey because when you do so mm -hmm. it frees up your energy to be able to use it for what you really want mm -hmm. those would be the two things the, the third and final thing is allow yourself to have a goal think about sue and the voice recital a goal is an area or object towards which play is directed in order to score and you can use your money to funnel it towards these goals and when you do life is sweet Yes, you say it's such a simple act, but it's the most courageous. It is, it is. And it is. And you also talk about gratitude. Yes. Can you, can you say something about true well, abundance? Yeah, uh, uh, gratitude is, is the, is the uh, entryway to abundance, to become grateful for what we have right now. And when you learn how to become uh, grateful, and once again, I've got some exercises for that, you are also uh, activating the energy of enjoyment, enjoyment and savoring of what you truly have now, which is key, a key to the abundant life. Wow, and forgiveness too? Yes. Maria, forgiveness is important. Yes, we have a, a, a chapter on forgiveness because when you do forgive people, you clear away old energy that's been stuck in the past so that you can use it in the future. Mm. Amazing. Here we're talking about money and we're getting all of this um, this peace of mind and yes. happiness yes. and rejoicing in life. Yes. I want to show you Maria's book. This is it, The Energy of Money. It's fantastic. It has all kinds of exercises. I especially like the money autobiography. Oh, yes. To learn how, you know, it started, like oh, yes. childhood. Oh, yes. I mean, it's an uncommon thing to do, to take your money autobiography. Very worthwhile.